All right, so this is our uh, 2021 hardscape trailer for the year. Um, I guess we'll just hop right into it. So right here is our 2,200-pound uh, plate. Behind that, we have our 5,000-pounder. The big 14,000 that we also have just doesn't fit in here. It's too big and too heavy for the trailer. Behind it, we have our uh, our block splitter. Back there is our paver roller, uh, blower, and our jumping jack. And then up here, we have our brooms, grass rakes, uh, we have our levels. I made all these brackets when I redid the trailer this past year. Um, two foot level, four footer. There's a three footer hidden up behind that four footer up there. Our six foot level. And then our screed six footer right there also. And then up to the top, we have some extra edging from the last job. Uh, our aluminum straight edge, some PVC left over. Uh, the screed rails for whenever we're setting the, the stone for the pavers underneath. And then I think that's it for that side. Over to this side, we have our uh, our stakes for string lines, uh, set in concrete forms, whatever you need them for. And behind that is our, our axes down in there. Uh, we have our sledgehammers, a 10 and 12 pounder right there. Uh, our homemade uh, hand tamper here. Then up to the top, we have our uh, our dirt rakes. These little guys are awesome. We don't use the homeowner versions because um, they just don't move as much material and they break a lot easier. Behind that, we have our grading rake. We have a couple more of them. I just don't have them in here right now. Um, right here, obviously, our big IQ saw. If you don't have one of these and you're in the hardscaping business, you're really missing out. Breathing that dust every day is no good and it's no fun. So if you have the money, invest in one and definitely do it. So up in here, we have uh, our digging bars. These things are life savers. We have our homemade shovel right in here. One of the guys ran it over with the skid loader actually. And we use that for digging out like post holes so you don't have to get all the way down in there. And when you do, we have uh, the little, little shovels right there. Behind that, we have uh, the, the pitchforks. And then the orange handle things you see are the, the tree spades. It's very dark in here. Sorry for the lighting. I'm trying to do my best. I'm not used to doing this whole filming thing. So up here we have the blower and uh, the grade pole back here. This guy, this is the engineer's one. We don't use it a lot because whenever you're doing paperwork and setting steps or doing whatever, it's just easier to have the standard measurements because you have to change everything to decimals and fractions or whatever. Just just to switch over if you use one of them. A lot of excavators use them because it's easier, especially when you're reading off blueprints, but it just doesn't work for us really. So down here we have our uh, uh, <laughs> extension cords, can't think right now. Um, we have our seed spreader back there for grass seed, fertilizer, crabgrass, preventive lime, whatever. Um, up top we have our flat shovels. This is an old one, I don't even know why it's in here. We have some brand new ones back there. Our spade shovels here. We only use razor backs. I think it's the only way to go personally. The fiberglass ones break really easy. I mean, so do these if you prying on them like a mother effort, but we don't because we take care of our tools, try to anyway. I mean, of course guys are gonna destroy stuff, but that's just, that's a part of it. It is what it is. So we have some low voltage wire, as you can see right there. Behind that's a, a hose for the hookup to the cutoff saw whenever we uh, are in a public place and there's a bunch of guys working around whatever. Behind that is the, the loppers. And then down here, we have an extra an extra bucket of number nines, some five gallon buckets. We use them a good bit. I mean, if you're, on, if you're a hardscaper, you, you probably use them a good bit. So... Down there is uh, the six by six blocks. We use them for putting underneath the trailer jacks so you don't have to go all the way down, it's just quicker. Then we have our uh, our extra new blades down there. There's a concrete one and a metal one and then some extra old blades behind them. One of them might be warped or whatever, but if you don't have any other blades to use or whatever, they're there. Um, filter changer, an extra C-clamp if we ever need it. And then that's it for all that stuff and then up here is all the hand tools so i made all these brackets when i redid the trailer just to try and save some space i just got some steel tubing cut out like little notches and made it work got some quarter inch flat bar i tried to use an eighth inch but it was like too flexible i mean it is a little bit heavy but if you're lifting blocks and pavers all day 
you'll be fine. Like, it's not really that bad. And then we have our Milwaukee pack outs. Uh, I got my batteries, the power ratchets, the drills, impacts, hammer drills, circ saws, whatever you need. You never know what you're going to need. So you got to be prepared. Then back here behind it, if I can move it with one hand and I can't, well, yes, I can. There we go. All right. So we have our straps down there, some, some bottle jacks back there, uh, our big straps, gas jug, the 50 to one jug, um, our paver puller some grass seed, uh, some extra filters for our mask. Back there is a, there's a paver puller back in there. We have a, there's an extra set of sockets back in there. This, this box right here is extra sockets or wrenches, whatever. A big box extra spikes for the, the edging. Uh, there used to be hammer drills in here and tap cons, but it, there's still some tap cons in there, but the hammer drill broke. Um, back in here, we have a, another hammer drill in case my uh, cordless one isn't working or whatever. I forget it, but I usually don't. Um, then we have socket set here. This is like one of the best socket so socket sets on the market, in my opinion, because it uh, it has deep sockets, shallow sockets, uh, standard and metric. You got three eighth and a quarter inch drive. You have the thirteen sixteenths, which is a pretty common lug lug nut size. And then we have our uh, our block lifter down here. We want to hook it up to the excavator, whatever. And then up to the next layer, we have some rebar for tying stuff up. Those orange things are glue glue tube heaters. Then we have the the headphones right there. Some garbage bags. Then a cutoff saw, our uh, generator. The funny story about that generator is one of our guys was cutting up a donk on a lake. And I guess he didn't think not to take it out there with him, but he took it out there with him, cut the, the donk in half, and it went in with him. So we took it to the shop. They cleaned out whatever they had to clean out, and it's been working fine for like the past five years. So on the generators, that's where it's at. Then over in here, we have our 60-pound uh, our, uh, jackhammers, the Daywall guys. These things are lifesavers. If you ever need them and you don't want to rent them, these are the way to go. I mean, they're a little pricey, but they save your life sometimes. We have an extra one below it. And if you're pounding in a lot of stakes or doing like the plastic curbs for playgrounds, they're the way to go. Oh, I forgot to mention our playground box is down there, the yellow handle thing. And up to the next shelf, we have our setup kit here. It has like all of our tape measures, string lines, hammers. Um, there's a broom in there, like a little hand broom. Um, yeah, some chisels too. Uh, extra shit like that. And then behind there, we have grease gun uh screws timber locks some extra tap cons and back in there is our uh our composite shims got a whole box of them sick and tired of running out so i just spent the money got a big box uh kneeling pad extra hammers extra brooms uh extra uh string lines tape measures whatever the big tapes like the 100 footers 200 footers some old battery chargers that i should take out of here i usually keep the radio here uh, rubber mallets, there's a mini sledge or chipping hammer in there. And then underneath, I keep uh, the spikes for uh, the edging. And then up top here, we have, uh, yeah, we have the, our extra sight level here in case we forget our laser, which you never want to do. Um, our glue gun up in here, you know, we have like the extra tripod. Here's an edging tool for concrete right there. Uh, an extra grade pole and then our trowels behind the trowels are uh paint uh full paint box and then you always carry extra big uh extra paint cans whatever then we have uh the chalk line dust the big chalk line our grease tubes are in there and then our glue tubes are right there and i'm pretty sure i just got everything and hopefully i didn't miss anything but uh that's our 2021 hardscape trailer. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or learned something or want to add something to your trailer after watching this video, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try to upload some more videos and thanks for watching.